All right, guys, so on Facebook, I got a message and I wanted to share this video with everyone. It's about how to make time for everything in your life and training and working out and even having a girlfriend. So how do you balance having a girlfriend, working out, work, school, whatever it may be, trying to make a living for yourself? Personally, I am extremely busy but I try and answer as many questions on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube as much as possible. I personally do not have a girlfriend right now, but of course, I've, I've had a girlfriend before. So, and I was doing videos at the time. Well, how did I balance that with going to school full time? Because I take 15, 12 to 15 credits per semester. I'm about to graduate with my exercise physiology degree. I'm always paying attention with school. I work, I train people, I make videos every day. I'm, uh, I'm a photographer, I am creating programs for people every day. I am just trying to help out with the community as much as possible, I'm volunteering, I'm trying to do as much things as possible. So that's work and school. And then of course, I need a, some type of social life. I need to be able to you know, interact with people outside of work and the fitness community. So I try and talk to as many people as possible, even when I'm at school or anything like that. And then of course, it is the girl situation. I personally do not have a girlfriend right now. I might in a month or two, no clue. But at this instant right now, I do not have a girlfriend. But when I did, what I did was, I, I make sure I schedule out my days to make sure I always spend time with whoever I'm with at the time. For instance, if usually I work out at three to 5 p.m. or if I work out at night, 8 p.m., and then after that I get to rest at home or anything like that. I make sure that I move that, that workout to the morning so I'm not skipping my workout or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not putting my girlfriend in front of my workouts and I'm not putting my workout in front of my girl. I am just moving it down to the list. I'm waking up a bit earlier because I need a sacrifice if I want to have a relationship with somebody that deserves having a relationship with me. So I work out in the morning, I'll go to school all day, and then nighttime, I will, I will spend time with my girlfriend or whatever it may be. I schedule my, my days accordingly so that I have time for everyone, even my family. I, I, I've, I make sure I have dinner with them every night around 6 p.m. I make sure that if I'm gonna train someone, I make sure that all my, my clients are lined up back to back to back to back so that I have time for other things. Another thing that is, is pretty tough to handle is studying. I have to study a lot because I'm just about to graduate and I'm in my, my really, really hard classes right now. Well, I'm taking a full schedule of four or even five classes. So I make sure I wake up right away and I study. Or if I'm, I'm, if I'm gonna go to bed, that's the last thing I do. If I have 20 minutes between clients, take out my books and I study. Same goes with Facebook. If someone, if I have 20 messages that day or 30 messages that day, I will, I will message everyone back. I'll answer questions within a specific time frame. So if it's between classes and if I'm walking to another class, classes can be anywhere from one hour to three hours. So I don't have time to talk to them within class. I'll whip up my phone and I'll try and message as many people back as possible. Then goes for the training program. So if I need to write programs, I'll designate a specific time on the weekends where it's my rest day for training and I will just write all my programs that day. I will take everybody and ask exactly what they're looking for and I will write them personally to them. So I try and balance everything out through a schedule. For instance, Monday, I will, if I had a girlfriend, I'll say if I had a girlfriend, I'll wake up at 5.30 a.m., eat something really quick, I will go work out for an hour or two, then I'll go to school at 8 a.m. I'll go f f to school from 8 a.m. to about 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Then I'll go straight, shoot over to train a couple clients, come back at 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. at school, take a couple classes, be done with school around five o'clock. Then I will go and I'll eat and everything. I will, um, I'll go home, relax, you know, because you need to relax. You need time to just take your mind off of everything. I will then study, and then if I have a girlfriend, I will 
I'll go hang out with her, and then after that, I'll come home and I'll study even more. So it's a pretty hectic day. I'm usually out of the house for at least 12 hours. It's, it's crazy. Always remember, you need to have a day where you just you know, let everything go and you just turn off your phone, turn off your computers, you don't work out, you just rest, you enjoy your, your friends, your family, and that's what I usually do on Sundays. But I also work out sometimes on Sundays, depends on, on how I'm feeling. I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. A lot of people have been asking me, how do you organize everything in your life accordingly? And that's how I do it. So I hope you guys learn a little bit about what you should do by what I'm telling you right now. Please comment below with how you feel. Give me another video idea, ask a question so I can answer it. I'm Brennan Myers. Please thumbs up for this video, subscribe to my channel, talk to you soon. Okay. If I bench over 300 pounds for that day for sets, then I will not do calisthenics. But if I'm doing anything